everyone and welcome back to Learning with Jelly. Today we're on lesson 24 where we're going to dive into PROC SG plot. Now this is going to be one of several videos for PROC SG plot so you can learn how to make a great amount of visuals using this procedure. But today we're going to focus on getting to know what SG plot is and how to create some bar charts. So our agenda for today is we're going to discuss this concept of ODS graphics. You have read about these graphics in some of the SAS documentations. Maybe you have heard about it in class and you don't really know what ODS stands for. So we're going to discuss that briefly. And then we are going to hop right into the PROC SG plot procedure to create a bar chart. Now, what does ODS actually mean? ODS stands for Output Delivery System. It's the output that you get in SAS after generating a data or PROC step. ODS graphics is a graph or a visualization that is outputted in SAS after you run a particular procedure. Now, there are over 80 statistical procedures such as PROC core that actually has built in ODS graphics. It will give you a histogram, a QQ plot, things of that nature. It is automatically turned on by default. So when you run these statistical procedures, it automatically gives you these visuals. If it does not, at the top of a SAS program, you can type this SAS statement that you see on the right-hand side of the screen that says ODS graphics on, okay? So SGPlot and SGPanel are two separate procedures. So they're not gonna be in a PROC core, a PROC t-test, a PROC ANOVA. They're outside any other statistical procedure, and they're going to help you create single visuals such as SGPlot or a panel of visuals such as SGPanel. We're going to focus on using ODS graphics outside of a statistical procedure by using SGPlot. So ODS graphic, the default output is going to be in HTML. So when you view the output, the visual is going to be right in HTML. And the graphs are automatically saved to your work library. Of course, you can instantiate a lib name to save it permanently. And there are so many different style templates that you have control over, such as how it looks as far as grayscale, if you want a blue tint to it, things of that nature. But the default graphic is going to be output in HTML. Okay, so what is SGPlot? So SGPlot is going to be a procedure that's going to allow you to create multiple different types of visuals. Today, we're going to focus on bar charts. You're going to be able to create vertical bar charts as well as horizontal bar charts. You can create stack or cluster bar charts by using the group display option, and we're going to see that on the next slides. And by default, the y-axis is frequency. So how many observations within each category? You can change it to the mean, you can change it to the sum, you can change it to the percent, et cetera. So let's actually look at an example. So as you see on my screen here, I have the PROC SG plot procedure. It has data equal along with the data set name. You all have access to this data set. It is default. It is built into SAS on demand for academics or base SAS in the SAS Help Library. And I'm doing B bar. B bar means a vertical bar chart. And I'm going to put the categorical variable name that I want a bar chart of. So in this case, I wanted a vertical bar chart of the origin of the car. So I have a bar for Asia, Europe, and the USA. And once, I, once again, the Y is gonna be frequency, okay? So in my data set, I have 150 observations of Asian cars. I have a little bit about 125 observations for European cars, et cetera. If I wanna change it from vertical to horizontal, the only thing I do is change V bar here to H bar. Keep in mind, it is always good to know when to use certain visuals. Bar charts are great when you have at least one categorical variable, okay, that you want to look at the percent of, the frequency, the sum, et cetera. So both of these are categorical variables. I can do a stacked bar chart by just putting a forward slash and then the option group equals type. 
this group equals type is going to allow me to do a bar chart by two categorical variables. So I see here now that each one of my vertical bars is broken out by the type of car, whether it's hybrid, SUV, sedan, et cetera. And I can get a good feel for that. So this may tell me, for instance, that in Asia, Europe, and USA, a lot of the cars in this data set are sedan in nature. I don't tend to have a lot of hybrid cars in this data set at all. Another option that I can do is the group display equals cluster. So if I don't want a stacked bar chart, that is the default, I can have a cluster where I can unstack that bar so that I can see the individual bars for every type. Okay, so I can also break it down this way as well. And this is showing the same um, origin. Oh, we just went back once. Okay, so here I'm doing a cluster bar chart and I'm seeing that my stat is percentage. Okay, so notice that this is percent frequency now on my Y axis. So here I can see that in the USA, Sedan is roughly about 25% of all the cars in my data set. So if I didn't want to look at frequency, I can look at percent, I can look at sum, I can look at mean, whatever I want to look at, okay? And so this is done by having the stat option in my code. So now let's actually try some of this, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new file in SAS On Demand for Academics. I'm going to expand my libraries, and within my libraries, I have the same SAS Help library that I showed in the PowerPoint. So within this SAS Help library, I see my cars. I'm just going to double click on cars. And now I see that I have my type, my origin, and some important categorical variables that I may want to visualize using a bar chart. So let's type in PROC SG plot data equals the name of the data set. And let's just do a regular vertical bar chart. It's going to be the keyword V bar. We did origin, but now let's do type in this case. I'm going to do type. And then I'm just going to go ahead and run the procedure and then just quit so it doesn't run on the back end. And I'm going to run this. Okay, and here I see that I have my vertical bar chart to give me a good glimpse of what's actually in my data set. And once again, that sedan is showing up quite often. I can go back if I wanted to change this to a horizontal bar chart. I can put H in place of V and go ahead and run it. And now I see my horizontal bar chart as well. I'm going to keep it vertical because I like the vertical look. If I wanted to do, let's say, the sum, I can do a forward slash. This helps me put any options. Notice as soon as I do options, this list in SAS on demand for academics comes up, just in case I forget the option name, right? And so in this case, I'm going to go ahead and say stat, and I'm going to put percent. And then when I run that, I also now get this axis to be percent where I see sedan is roughly 60% of the cars in my actual data set, right? So just like the PowerPoint, I can also group by another variable. So I can say group. And now I'm going to flip it and I'm just going to group by the actual origin. And here I get my default stats where I can group by my origin. In this case, Asia is blue, Europe is red, USA is green, right? So I'll go back through the PowerPoint and try playing around with PROC SG plot in order to create some nice bar charts. As always, thank you so much for tuning in with Learning with Jelly. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.